Brent, Sarah, this endorsement a surprise to some, but a welcome push for Levy just days before the primary. The endorsement happening via a phone call at a Montville Republican Town Committee event Thursday night. Now debate about how influential Trump could really be for Connecticut Republicans. I prayed for this endorsement. I was hoping for this endorsement. It caught me by surprise. Levy says Trump's endorsement pegs her as the strongest candidate in the U.S. Senate race. I promised to nationalize this race, and now people can see Connecticut matters. Connecticut is in play. But state party endorsed opponent Themis Claritus disagrees. In a statement, Claritus said she's proud to be endorsed by those who actually win elections in this state, a nod to Trump's loss in Connecticut to Democrat Joe Biden in the 2020 presidential election. Are there any concerns to have this endorsement now in a state where Trump was defeated back in 2020? Well, look at, you know, people have have the benefit of hindsight now. Look at how much better off we were under President Trump. State Democrats shocked by the endorsement Thursday, calling it astonishing. I think it's a huge problem. Connecticut is not an extreme state. Connecticut folks want to work together when they see people who are who are riding that line of extremism. It turns them off as voters. Levy accused of flip-flopping on her conservative beliefs by her primary challengers previously supported Jeb Bush over Trump in the 2016 presidential primary. In a February 2016 op-ed, she wrote Trump is vulgar, ill-mannered, and disparages those whom he cannot intimidate. When I said things, I had never met him. I was supporting a different candidate. That was politics. With just days until the primary, Levy believes this endorsement will be enough to propel her to the front of this contested Senate race. But time will tell if this gets Republican voters out in her favor. August 9th, live in the newsroom, Emma Wolforst, Fox 61 News.